Hello everyone, my name is Devraj and in this video, I'm gonna share everything that you need to know about the first semester syllabus of BCCSIT. So just a quick disclaimer, this is not a comparison between BCCSIT and computer engineering. This is just a brief introduction to every subject that you will be studying in the first semester of BCCSIT. So with that being said, let's get started. Computer science is not just about machines, algorithms, and code. It's a magical realm where imagination meets innovation and dreams become a digital reality. So our journey begins with a subject that lays the foundation for all the computing courses that you will be taking and it's called Introduction to Information Technology. Here you will gain a comprehensive understanding of computer concepts including hardware, software, data representation, database, networking, internet, multimedia and computer security. These fundamental concepts are the building blocks of modern technological landscape. By studying this subject, you will gain the foundational knowledge required to thrive in this ever evolving field. And this was the book that I used in my first semester. It's called Counter Fundamentals by Anita Gold. Okay. Next up we have the fascinating world of computer programming, especially including C programming. If you have studied computer science in your plus 2, then this subject will be very easy for you comparatively because the syllabus in this subject is essentially the same from class 11 and 12, the C programming chapter, right? Some of the minor additions that are in this course are uh, dynamic memory allocation in pointers and then graphics in C programming and other small topics like nested structure and all the things. So it will be easier for you if you have already understood the basics of C programming back in 11th or 12th grade. For your information, C is one of the most widely used programming languages in the world. It has been the language behind iconic softwares like Microsoft Windows. And for C programming, this was the book that my college gave to me. It's called Programming in NCC by this writer. Okay, so this is the book. Now let's venture into a whole new world of digital logic where the magic of binary numbers and the digital circuits unfold. This subject explores the fundamental concepts of Boolean algebra, multi-level gate networks, flip-flops, combinational circuits, sequential logics, and digital integrated circuits. You'll also learn about organization of computer memory, how it works, what are read and write operations and all that. Digital logic forms the backbone of modern computing systems, from microprocessors to your smartphones to the integrated circuitry of advanced robotics. By studying digital logic, you'll gain a deep understanding of the inner working of these technologies, empowering you to design and optimize digital circuits for a wide range of applications. So after learning digital logic, you will be able to understand this cryptic message that said something and it might change your world. So look out for it, okay? And this was the book that I used for digital logic. It's called Digital Logic and Computer Design by M. Maurice Mano, MMM, okay? So now let's shift gears and explore the mathematical foundation of computer with Mathematics 1. In this subject, you will dive into the captivating world of functions, limits, derivative integrals, differential equations, vectors, and multiple integrals. If you have understood calculus in your plus 2, it will be comparatively easier for you. And in the first semester, mathematics is all about calculus. In the second, it's all about algebra. So you need a deep understanding of calculus for this and you'll be doing a lot of derivatives and integrals. As mathematics serves as a language through which computer algorithms are conceived and analyzed. It plays a crucial role in solving complex computational problems, optimizing algorithms, and developing cutting-edge technologies. So mathematics is necessary for you to develop your analytical skills and gain a more powerful toolset for the world of computing. And this was the book that I used. It's called Mathematics 1 for BSc CSIT first semester. It's from Nepali writers. And last but not the least, we have the subject physics. And don't get scared, it's just for the first semester only. In this subject, you will explore the fundamental principles behind oscillations, electromagnetic theory, quantum mechanics, band theory, semiconductors, universal logic gates, and even the physics of manufacturing integrated circuits. The physics behind semiconductors and integrated circuits has really revolutionized the world of computing. So it's very necessary for us to understand how these devices are made and how it has enabled us to create smaller, faster and more powerful devices that shape our modern life. Hence, by delving into physics, you will gain a deeper appreciation for the scientific wonders 
that fueled the advancements in computer science. This was the book that I studied in the first semester. It's called A Textbook of Physics, Theory and Practical, BCC SIT first semester by H.K. Neopane and D.R. Upadhyay. Or if this is from Asmita publication. This video is not sponsored by Anita. Oh, not Asmita. So there you have it. These are the five subjects that you will be studying in this semester. It's not a big mountain for this semester. I don't know what awaits me in the second semester, but these were not that difficult, that not that easy also. So I don't know, somewhere in between, but yeah. So whether you aspire to be a software engineer or data scientist, a network specialist or an AI researcher, BCC SIT equips you with the knowledge and skills needed to thrive in this dynamic industry. But do I think these syllabus are enough? Definitely not. Nobody thinks that because it's not. But what it does is you will gain a deeper understanding of the field and also the possibilities around this computing era. So it's very important for you as a student to explore the different fields by yourself. These syllabus are definitely not enough for you. So thank you for watching this video. If you have any query, you can comment it down below. And just remember this, the world of computer science is very vast and the possibilities are limitless. Keep learning, keep exploring and let your curiosity lead you to a whole new world of incredible discoveries. So until next time, this is it. Thank you for watching.